and we look at this cube, I'm going to put it right in front of you, the angle that you're going to draw it from is like this. So you're going to okay. see this, uh, oh. the left and the right and the top. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we're going to start with this vertical right in front, and that will be, uh, that will go down to the baseline. Okay? So draw, to go draw right down to there. yeah, draw a three inch line up from your base. I, I'm okay. figuring it out, I'm figuring it out now. Great. Three inches. Mm -hmm. so first let me find that. Kind of wants to go in those little. Yeah. That's all right though. It is fine. Make sure to draw it hard enough so because you can feel it. it isn't quite hard enough. I wonder if we need tracing paper. Well, you know, easier. two things about this, mm -hmm. I will say. I would rather do it this way. No. Test it this little bit, then I can press a little harder and faster, too. Okay. It's sort of parallel to the first one. Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> so we're going to go with the second one. Yeah, you're dirty. Okay. okay. So, now we so start. you can go out three and then draw back to yourself or because it's easier well, to pull yeah. than push. So I'm going to go out here. That's what I was thinking. The same thing. It is easier to pull than to push. The trick is hitting this guy. Not, well, I went too far. That's all right. It's all right. Yep. And now, so which line did you just draw? I drew the bottom left line. Can you touch it on this one? Oh, yeah. I like Perfect. this because you can feel when you're there. Good. Because you can't otherwise see it. And this yeah. is the notch. It's notched that way. Good. That's nice. Okay, so now we have... The two, we have the, the middle vertical. Mm -hmm. and it's two 30 degree angles here. Yes. And then we're going to have two more verticals there. Yes. To draw these, does it line up? If I move this to where the notch starts there, then I could do it that way, right? Yes, but see if, you know, the second notch might start there already. It looks really close. Yes, it does. Yes, it is right there, isn't it? Sure. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty darn close. Now make sure your square is. Yeah, sitting. my square got tilted there, yeah. sorry. It was, You know, you might put your pen on the end of that line and well, then just not your, uh, okay. put your, push your thing up to it. Mm -hmm. cool. Okay, now, three inches up. Mm -hmm. First of all, I could move it right up to that point. Move this up to that point, right? Mm -hmm. And then draw those two mm -hmm. going in that direction. And then I guess I'll figure it out from there. Okay. It's one of the trickier parts of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. But you know, this is your first time through, so um, I'm sure that there's going to be techniques that you know you come together two, with. One, three. Here, look at now, your cube. The cube. We have to do these two guys because these are the only two left. And what? Okay. Yep. Is that one? Mm. <laughs> it's That's really it. good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm actually, it's not too bad, is it? No. This is stuff that people see online all the time, and blind people don't have any idea what they're talking about. Exactly. You know, because, well, not saying they don't, but they don't have those pictures. They don't snap, 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 know exactly what, like, you draw this picture, they and show that cube, it's like, oh, this is how this gets put. But even if you had this picture without drawing it, would you have understood what those lines were really representing? That would have been... It makes it easier, don't you think, well, to make that transition? From drawing it yourself to, yeah. oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Anything that you're actually actively involved in is going to be better learning for any, you know, anything, because, which is the problem with the whole thing of, you know, um, blind people can just sit and, and you can you observe and listen or you can take notes or whatever in science classes or math classes or any of those technic technical things is that we get pushed off to the side and, and we aren't, everybody else is learning experientially. Yes. Except for the blind kid. And you're gonna take notes. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna take notes about yeah. what you don't know, but you know, eh, okay, the solution turned right. blue. Just write this down. Yeah, the solution turned blue, okay. 